SI93 boxing back with a quick video. Billy Joe Saunders has revealed his opponent. And he will defend it in October 22nd. He's defended his title on October 22nd against um, somebody. We don't even know who it is, to be honest. Actually, like I read the article a little bit. I can't remember his name. Really, let me actually find this. Oh, Arthur Aka. Akavov with 16 um, wins, I believe one loss and seven KOs. So I don't know about this guy. He might be a decent opponent. He might be a bum. I don't really know. But one thing you do know is this guy's not no world level. I don't think he's a good world level opposition. Which is interesting because Billy Joe Sanders has been talking all kinds of shit about Triple G, he's been calling him cheap Triple G spot and whatever. Remember, Triple G is the guy that he was scared of, point blank scared of. He admitted that Triple G, like before Triple G would have beat him and Chris Eubank at the same night. That shows that he's not confident uh, of himself against Triple G. Now, all of a sudden, he saw a little bit of weakness and this guy wants to jump in there with Triple G. He's taught, like, you know, you're ducking Triple G. But you're now talking shit about him. This is crazy. Either take the take the fight, then talk. Take the fight, then talk. He's talking about all kinds of shit. He's talking about uh, Saul Alvarez now. You know, talking shit about him. Saul Alvarez for better oppositions than you have ever for. Back to back to back to back to back. I don't care. American. Yeah, he's a welterweight. But he has a lot of attributes that can give Canelo problems, and he did. Can did give Canelo problems. It was a matter of figuring him out, but the figuring him out is tricky. And if Canelo didn't come in there prepared to figure him out and to kind of like set the punch up, then he would have been outboxed the whole night. So I yeah, it's it's a bit of a cherry pick, but other than that, you look at he fought Miguel Cotto, he fought Lara, he fought a bunch of guys, man. He fought he took a lot of good fights. And he fought Liam Smith, who's also like kind of unknown to a lot of people, but he's a world champion. I don't think this Russian guy is a world champion in his, himself. So that's the thing. Like Saul, like sorry, uh, Billy Joe Sanders talking all this shit and he's fighting pretty much an unknown fighter. He needs to shut the fuck up and fight someone good, or at least shut the fuck. Up. I don't mind. Look, ducking is one thing, but when you're ducking and talking shit about these people, that's an, that's that, that's just annoying. That's an really annoying. And Billy Joe Sanders seems annoying a lot of times. I do think Billy Joe Sanders is a good fighter. I think Sanders is a good fighter. You know, he has he's awkward at times. Um, yeah, he, he's he's good. He's a good good movement and things like that. So I think, as I said, I do think he's a good fighter. But he needs to if he's gonna duck fighters, he needs to stop talking shit about these fighters. So that's kind of what I have to say. It was a really quick video. I'll be back with a video soon.